Peace, what's up, Solutionaries? I let some of the hype die down before I made this video. Today we're going to talk about the neo-Nazis and the, the, the Antifa and whoever, I don't even know how to pronounce it, down in Charlottesville. Okay, first and foremost, when we're talking about the Klan, the, all of those other different people, you know, this is clearly, that organization existed during the presidency before this one. During the Obama administration, there was Klansmen. But they never got much press. They didn't get much press because it wasn't a talking point. When it was that other side, when it was the Obama administration, it was more about Black Lives Matter. I want y'all to understand how the media, you know, portrays things and stirs things up. First, I also want to say, I don't give a fuck about the Ku Klux Klan, the neo-Nazis, the Antifa. I don't care about none of that, and neither should you. You should also not be puppeteered into thinking that this is somehow your fight. This is all business. This is all business. When you go to a protest and you protest against protest, you use your free speech to oppose somebody else's free speech, you just put an energy into a place. And it's good for business. The people that are actually crafting these things on several levels have figured out how to make business off of this. You go down to a protest, you drive there to defend against what your belief systems are, you drove there, that's commerce. You stay overnight, it's a hotel, that's lodging. You get something to eat after the protest, that's food. So on one level, it's great for business. But you know who it's not good for? You. It's not good for you because during that time that you're attacking things that you are against, guess what you're not doing? Building anything that you are for, you know? So that's one. The other thing is the Ku Klux Klan may have six to 7,000 members in America. And since it's primarily an American organization, that means there's 7,000 of them in the world. That is not this huge governmental threat. Do I think that there's racist, bigots, and biased, and, 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 and uh, small-minded people in extremely powerful positions? Absolutely. But to the extent where it's a fear factor that, oh my God, you gotta watch out for the KKK, get the fuck out of here. Stop letting the Geppetto pull your strings. The last thing. If you are against these racisms or these people that have these viewpoints, don't go there. Don't go there. I am not interested in going somewhere where someone doesn't fuck with me because they're experiencing and expressing their right to speech. They can say whatever the fuck they want to say. I do not give two rats asses boiled. I do not give a shit and neither should you. You're putting energy into going into places, stimulating economies for things that do not in any way, shape or form build your community. The media does that on purpose to create false division and that falsehood can become reality if they can trick you into putting energy into it while making money off of you while you're not making money off of yourself. Don't fall for the hype. The KKK, the neo-Nazi movement is not that deep. Focus on building what's yours. Turn off your TV for a second. Be safe. Be solutionary.